Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Kanex Multisync Aluminium Mac Keyboard. Now if you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that over the Christmas and New Year period I actually had two keyboards fail on me, and in my search for a new keyboard I took a look at a very promising offering from SteelSeries. In fact I'll leave a link up here, or maybe up here, and a link down below for you so you can check that video out for yourself. Now that keyboard from SteelSeries was a mechanical gaming keyboard. It was really focused towards being used on a Windows PC, it didn't have dedicated Mac keys, although it did offer full Apple Mac support and really gorgeous backlighting, very, very nice indeed. This multi-sync keyboard from Kanex is actually wireless, and the clue is up here, because this is fantastic. This has got four Bluetooth buttons here, so you can actually pair this with four different devices. That could be maybe a Mac desktop, a Mac laptop, an iPad, and an iPhone, and then you can switch between them simply by pressing the Bluetooth keys. Very, very nice indeed. Now, the reason I was still in the search for a really nice keyboard was, one, I wanted something wireless, which this delivers on that front, and also, I didn't want the smaller Apple wireless keyboard, because I really rely on the numeric keypad. I use this when I'm video editing, and also when I'm doing my business accounts as well, so I definitely wanted this option here as well. And this just fitted the bill very nicely, so I was really excited when Kanex said, would I like to take a look? Now, I have got a couple of things that I'm not too keen on. And I'll just get those out of the way first. The first one is round the back here, we've got the on off button. Now, I would have liked to have seen it on the back, but I understand why Kanex didn't want to do that. This is made of a piece of aluminium, so nice metal sort of uh, top and front and back to the keyboard. And it would have spoiled that aesthetic, it would have mean, meant them doing a cutout. But there is room on the side and the reason I mention this is because when I turn my Mac on, I just want to switch the keyboard on. I don't want to have to turn the keyboard over and use that on-off switch on the bottom. So that's just one of the things that maybe they could change in a future version. Now the other thing, and this is just me being very, very picky, I'll try and give you a close-up of this, but the actual letters printed on the keys seem to be slightly shifted over to the left-hand side. And I just find that sort of frustrating when I look at the keyboard sometimes. Thankfully, I don't look at it that much because I can touch type, but it is just a little bit optically jarring. But apart from that, this keyboard is fantastic. It offers up a really nice typing angle. We've got chiclet style keys, very, very similar to the Apple keyboards and almost identical, in fact, to what you'll find on Apple's laptops as well. They've got a nice action, nice sort of feedback to them and a nice amount of travel very nicely spaced, and it is a very comfortable typing experience. In fact, this is one of the nearest comparable keyboards to Apple's own that I have actually experienced. It is very, very good indeed. Superb build quality, can't comment on the battery life yet because I haven't used it for long enough, and I haven't really used it with other devices. I checked it paired with something like an iPad and it did, but I'm mainly gonna use this on my Mac Pro. I will also probably pair it to my new MacBook Pro as well, because in the editing room, I've got a new 38 inch LG ultra wide monitor, and I'm now using my MacBook Pro a lot more connected to that monitor via USB-C or Thunderbolt 3, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to pair this up to my MacBook Pro as well, so that I've got that easy transition between using the Mac Pro and the laptop on that large screen. So this is a really nice solution. I can only commend Kanex on building what is a superb keyboard. I just really hope they come out with that version two and shift that on off switch to one of the sides. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're in the market for a really good Bluetooth keyboard, this is well worth considering. Please do hit like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another one very soon.